In fact, speaking in tongues happens to be the only gift we have received from the Holy Spirit that you can use at will. According to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, Paul said that I will pray in the Spirit. I will pray in my understanding also. That is to say that it's up to you to decide how much of this spiritual capital you are willing to use on a daily basis. When I discovered that it is up to me to use, I wanted to see how far I could pray. And so some Saturdays I shut down and I begin to speak in tongues. I, I started, I did four, four hours the first Saturday. Next Saturday I came, I did six hours. Next Saturday I did eight, uh, eight hours. And a time came when I prayed in tongues for 18 hours. I said, so, okay. So if I want to go, the, the system will support me. You are prayerless. That's why you are still fornicating. You saw a woman's breast and your leg began to shake like this. It, it's a proof that you, you don't know fire. <laughs> it's a proof that your refinery has broken down. It's a proof that you are not willing to come out of your situation because the day you become willing to come out of that situation and you begin to engage prayer you will find out that the things that you call your weakness previously you will pass from before them and go to a land where they don't exist oh my god we miss so much when we refuse to engage god because built into that facility is the possibility to engage God and to travel in the spirit. If you are willing to pay the price, what you call your weakness today, God will strip you of every ounce of that weakness and release you into your destiny. If you are still here, say amen. So that's the baptism in the Holy Ghost. But that's not all that the baptizer does. In the book of Matthew chapter 3, the Bible says, He will baptize you, one, with the Holy Ghost. Then, number two, He will baptize you with what? Fire. You see, the baptism of fire is a wonderful spiritual experience. Meanwhile, the baptism of fire it comes on the foundation of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. When you are baptized in the Holy Ghost and you decide to begin to run your refinery and you are consistent in the place of prayer, you are consistent in the place of prayer, a day will come when you will be baptized in fire. There are some evidences I have here to show that you have fire. Number one, this first evidence that shows that you have entered into the regime of the baptism of fire is that there is a strange passion for the things of God that invades your soul that possesses your soul your soul is choked with passion for the things of God you see the devil operates from the environment the devil operates externally. The devil kindles situations. He kindles circumstances. So that those that have no passion will break down and they will follow the pattern of the pressures in the environment. They will surrender to the challenges in the circumstance. So whereas the devil operates from outside, God operates from inside. And those of you that have ever been on a canoe, you know that it is not the water that is around the canoe that makes it sink, but it's the water that is inside of the canoe. Oh, what will determine whether you keep afloat is not what is in the circumstances, because Satan will be operating from the circumstances. It's what is inside of you. And so what God does when he baptizes you with fire, is that he places a passion some people can't understand us i was in the oil industry for 16 years 
and when the time came for us to for me to become a management staff normally what is done is that you go for a training for two weeks and at the end of the training you write an examination and if you pass the examination 70 is the cut of mark if you get 70 in all of the five examinations you will write um you will qualify hallelujah unfortunately for me i don't fail exams if you put me in an exam hall it's most natural for me to pass in fact those courses we normally hold the least i've ever had was 74 percent so it was obvious that i was going to make it and i was going to be a management staff i'm not talking about a management staff in teaching service board of of Imo state i'm talking about the petroleum industry and because our payment structure in nigeria is performance driven and uh, we account for 98 percent of our gross domestic product as as staff of the oil industry it therefore justifies the reason why we are highest paid and when you cross into the money movement cater then you will not have breath of fresh air the lord give you understanding in jesus name and it came to pass i was heading for a crusade just like today and normally when i have an event like this i pray for money to live and in the evening we were driving to the crusade ground and the lord spoke to me he said when will your passport expire i said 28th of september 2020 he said your job expires that day too what hallelujah what happened that day he said your job has expired eh? i pressed for the after the crusade to find out if it was god that was speaking he repeated himself again and again so on the 5th of october i wrote my resignation and i submitted it. my colleagues said they have they, they have struck me from the village <laughs> hallelujah you see people cannot understand the man of passion the economy of god that was at work in my soul made that job look like dawn when the great monarch of zion had confirmed that it was his counsel for me to come out of that place you can never understand that life if you don't have fire you are trying to manage the land that you inherited You are trying to manage your circumstances the day fire comes upon your soul the holy ghost will become your commander he will give you directives that as a man you will feel that this is a wrong directive but when that fire keeps burning it will take away every pleasure that you have in that matter that you hold it up and it becomes dung in your sight and you give it away do you know it is October this day that will make it one year that I left work. The life I have today, what God has done for me today is better than what would have happened to me if I became a married master. May the Lord open your eyes in the name of Jesus to understand priority. When you come into the economy of fire, there will be a passion on your soul passion will supersede anything that this world can give so when you find a man of passion and there is no way to understand him apart from the move of god upon his heart then such a man has entered into the economy of fire number two a man that is under the influence of fire carries a contagious spirit if you are not ready to serve God, don't go close to him. Don't even go close to his messages. Don't go close to his trouser. Don't go if he if he spreads his trouser and his shirt here. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. If you don't want to serve God, because 
that man is carrying something that is contagious fire is contagious if you touch it oh my you begin to behave like it hallelujah there was a young man he didn't want to go too deep into God because he felt that God will consume him he is quite intelligent um, he runs a business that is very successful and he never wanted to go deeper into God because he felt if he goes deeper into God um, somehow God will take over and God might begin to give him instructions that he is not willing to carry out so he wants the fire to be burning low for five years he was able to get by just burning low until demons and witches became interested in his case and a situation that was orchestrated from the realm of the spirit befell him he now knew that flies do not perch on hot stoves and he came to pass just casually he picked one of my message listen to one hey. picked another one again listen to another one picked another one again you know i told you don't touch anything that belongs to a man of fire if, if his clothes are hanging leave it his message is on the computer leave it his message is on the handset leave it because there's a contagious power that will travel with it by the time he, he listened to the fifth message he had to repent of not allowing god to take over and after two weeks he listens to the messages the messages are playing in his house 24 hours so anywhere he comes from anywhere he meets he continues before he knew it he became a product of fire because fire is contagious if you are close to a man of fire you become fire rise if you are close to yes yes that's how it happens fire comes upon your life and then great kingdom passions will begin to come upon you he was afraid of surrendering to god totally and when by fire he, sub he submitted to god instead of his business closing up the lord began to give him wisdom on how to expand he's three times more than what he was when he was denying god access of his all are you with me it is foolishness for you to think that Plunging into God is going to reduce you. As you are now, what do you have? <laughs> so you have something. It is foolishness to think that plunging into God will reduce you. Let me ask you a question. What you experience today, is that the best that God can do? Oh, you, you, you can't answer. I'm asking you a question. What you have experienced today, is that the best that God can do? My managers in the office felt something terrible had happened to me because they know me on the field and then one of my colleagues in the office now showed them showed him that was complaining about me that i left the job he showed him our mission to ghana when he saw the number of people that were gathered he knew that what i'm doing is better than the office work i was doing God will lead you into something better if you can submit totally to his will. Oh, other ladies are sleeping in hotels and coming with little money. Keep yourself. Please help me. If there's a lady close to you, tell, preach to her for me. Keep yourself. God will take you farther than anything that prostitution can give you in your life in the name of Jesus Christ fire is contagious so every carrier of fire is a contagious entity his words can stick to your heart his prayer can implicate you anything he does he does by fire and if he prays for you god will take you seriously tonight we'll be praying some very terrible prayers <laughs> and god will take us seriously in the name of jesus
Number three, fire. Fire comes to make you pure. He said, Behold, I send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come into his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant whom you delight in, he shall come, say the Lord. But who shall abide in the day of his coming and who shall stand when he appeareth? For he shall be as a refiner's fire and as full as soap. And he shall purify the sons of Levi. Fire is the substance of purity. It purifies vessels. So if you are in love with fornication and you begin to contact a little fire, it will kill your desire for fornication because the mission of fire in your vessel is to make you pure. You like pornography with your handset in the night, looking at naked men, naked women. And you are now a slave of pornography. What you need to do is to introduce fire. The moment fire is introduced, those passions, those desires will die. And tonight as fire goes round, things will be burnt off in the name of Jesus Christ. The altar of fire is the ground, is the foundation from whence purity emerges he shall purge purify the sons of liver he shall purge them like gold and silver and the way gold and silver are purged is through fire and when God wants to bring purity to a generation what he does is that he introduces fire oh we say Nigeria is a nation of corruption it's because there's no fire in politics Take fire into politics. Take fire into governance. You are going to see a new thing will result. People that consult ASMO mostly are the people in politics now. How do you expect the land to go forward? That's, he has gone to swear to an idol to make covenant with darkness. The people under his rule. People under his rule. Are people that will be subjugated because he has fraternity with demons the Bible says it is righteousness that exalts a nation and that means in the new Nigeria that God is about to forge we are going to have righteous people tongue-talking people people that can hear the voice of God becoming local government chairman 